so annoyingly my video record uh, crashed right at the start so you didn't get to see anything i was talking about so i did three questions so if i undo or i go back in time so the last one i did was 297 so by simplifying this you can see there's a discontinuity at x plus 3 cancelling that out and excluding minus 3 from the graph um it's actually just the quadratic with a minimum at minus a half and a minus a 12. so it's just the quadratic and i verified this uh by graphing it as well so that's that one previous to that one uh well whoops was 297 and uh 297 uh by calculating the derivative, I realized there was a min and a max here and here. By subbing in zero, I could get where I crossed the y-axis. By simplifying uh, 296, I could see that there was a root at minus a half. And the horizontal x-axis is a horizontal asymptote. So the graph should be approaching the x-axis out to infinity. So a little bit of analysis of what's happening here in the formula. I was able to make this graph here and again I graphed it in the software afterwards and it matched up with this perfectly so I was happy with that one and then before this one I did 295 um, and 294 294 was easy it was just the quadratic with a turning point at minus a third and four which you can get from the derivative and 295 was a little bit harder but again by differentiating i was and, and calculating the second derivative i could see i had a max and a min um at zero and two and the inflection point would be when at one which is making sense because it's between the max and the min and um the only thing that was a little bit tricky was this. Uh, well, no, because uh, the turning point uh, when x is 2 gives you a y of 0. So it had to be a repeated root here. So again, by just analyzing the behavior of the function using your calculus skills, you can get a pretty decent sketch up there. Unfortunately, the video crashed, so you didn't see me talk it all out. But there's the answers there if you want to check yours. So that was 294 to 297.